Hello, thank you for joining me. So in this film, I'd like to show you how to do something different with that exterior wall and the interior of our building. What I'd like to do is cut that whole wall out and replace that with a whole new wall. You know, a little bit different than what we did in the previous film. So in the previous film, we made a cut into that wall just from the, from the first to the second floor. But this one, I'm going to go from the first to the third floor. So um, one thing to, you know, one thing I'd like to show you right now is uh, on, on these walls, on my exterior walls, on uh, the side room, as I call it, I uh, created a whole new level, and I, uh, you know, brought these walls up to that level. It's uh, the side wall parapet level, and then I put in a roof on the third floor. So if you look at the like the section of that room, and go down to uh, my building section, which is going to be that guy. You can see what I did. You think about a roof. A roof is, uh, and it's going to be a flat roof. It is a flat roof in that area, which is appropriate for the parapet walls, um, for a parapet wall building like this. Uh, the thing about the flat roof is that uh, it behaves, uh, behaves a little bit differently than a floor. And when you put in a floor, it goes from that level. Uh, for instance, our slide down here goes from that level and then extrudes that down. But uh, with the roof, what it does is it goes to that level and extrudes it up. So what that does for us is it gives us a nice clear span between uh, level 1 and level 3, or what I call by floor 1 and floor 3. So if I were to go in and edit this wall, which I'm going to do right now, and edit the profile of that wall, I can, uh, without any any additional geometry, just use the geometry they have in there. It should be fairly complete. So I'm going to go from level 1 to level 3. Uh, it gives me one uh, warning here, which uh, says highlight the walls, overlap, lines may not form closed loops, which is okay. We know what we did wrong. What we have down here is a stack line, so we're going to go ahead and uh, delete that. But we're also going to get another error, too, if we were to rebuild this. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut out that line, and then we're going to redraw a line segment in down here in a similar manner to what we did in the previous film. So we're going to go to the trim extend corner. Click an outline, click an outline. These are going to be the two lines we're going to keep. And uh, it's going to suggest we unjoin the elements, but it's still going to create an error. We have open geometry in down here, so we're going to go ahead and complete that by uh, putting in a sketch line down there. And now we have a complete geometry. You can see that uh, the magenta lines all connect and it's all formed in uh, one, one unit. So if we go to the green check mark, we uh, rebuild our wall. This kind of begs the question here too, what happens, just for the fun of it, what happens if we were to like maybe draw a rectangle out here and then rebuild it? Go to the green check mark, what we end up having out here is a wall that's kind of floating out there. It's kind of out of our view, but if we go to our 3D view and try to take a look at that, now we have uh, a floating wall somewhere out there. Oh, there it is. Okay, I have a floating wall out here. I imported this wall from another drawing, but here's our floating wall that's connected to that wall. It's a coplanar with it. Now, if we were to go in here and edit that profile, we can extend that wall much higher or higher than. Um, oops, don't want to do that necessarily. But what we want to do is uh, maybe grab a corner down here, or maybe that edge, drag that up. Maybe drag this down and see what uh, see what happens to that wall, that uh, magical uh, floating wall, it's kind of like Avatar in a way. So what it does is it builds that wall up to the parapet, puts the parapet in, and then it continues the pattern of the bricks on top. And with that stack wall, what it has is uh, uh, some sort of facing on the bottom of that, and it continues that uh, going down. So kind of odd. You know, I don't see any application uh, in this model right now, but you might be able to uh, apply something like that to your models if you desire. So we're going to go back to edit profile and just erase uh, that whole magenta rectangle that we drew before and go ahead and rebuild. Just a little side trip there. I thought you'd like to see that. Okay, let's go ahead and hide some elements. I want to see what's inside of this. So I'm going to take my roof and I'm going to hide it. I went ahead and built this roof and we'll say that uh, how to put in roofs uh, for a different video. I'm going to click on that roof I'm going to go ahead and hide it. So if I click on it, right click, and go down here to hide and view, I can hide that element. I'm going to hide the, hide the category. We're going to hide uh, all the elements I just selected by filter. I can filter things out like walls and roofs and windows and doors and stuff like that. So if I go to hide category, what it's going to do is going to hide all the roofs in, in my model so far. But what I want to do is uh, go to hide elements. It's just going to hide that. And we'll go back and uh, later I'll show you how to do that by going down to the view control bar and uh, pulling that thing back out again. So in this, uh, the next step is I'm going to go ahead and go to my first floor plan and I'm going to put in a new floor. That floor I just copied in. I'm going to go ahead and use that floor. I'm going to go to wall. I'm going to select my four and a half inch interior floor. 
floor wall. I'm going to talk about four and a half inch interior wall. All these are walls, by the way, right now. I'm going to talk about floors here in just a moment. And I'm going to exaggerate it and kind of put that out in the end of the room a bit. What I want to do is I want to increase the resolution on that to medium so I can see. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cancel so I can see what I'm doing here. What I want to do is just select the exterior face of that wall, uh, the finished face of that wall with the finished face of this wall. So I'm going to do that with the Modify tab. Go up here to the Line button. I'm going to use this in my static element down here. And that is my um, uh, the element I want to move. I'm going to go ahead and lock this into place. So now on the inside of this wall, on the first floor and the second floor, you're going to see a, uh, a continuation of that uh, interior face of that wall. So there's no indication that there's another uh, you know, a room back here until we put a, a hole to that and some sort of access to it. So let's go to our 3D view and take a look at that. So now we have the roof hidden. Now you can see our, our walls. So there's a couple uh, things that are kind of wrong here. First of all, it's open up here. We really want to have that go up to the third floor or floor number three. So let's go ahead and click on that wall and change that. There's a couple things we can do. We can take that wall, we can stretch it, and just do an offset to that wall. Which may not be exactly what we want because we'd have to constrain that up here. And you might want to do that if you're in a in a different view, perhaps a camera view looking at that, so you can actually make some uh, uh, some references in there. But let's uh, go ahead and do that. What we do is we change this, our top offset. We're going to change that back to zero. Then we're going to change this, uh, instead of up to level uh, floor two, we're going to go up to you know, our third level, or floor three, and then we're going to apply that. So what that does, it extends it all the way up to floor three. We're going to click out here in the middle of nowhere. Now you can see that wall being continuous up here, but we do have a floor here that needs to be dealt with. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and fix that. What we want to do is we want to want to edit the profile of that floor. So if you go to Edit Boundary and click on it, you can see the magenta line coming back, which should be uh, getting familiar with you right, uh, for you right now. So let's go to our floor plans, our floor two. We're going to edit that floor. We're going to increase the resolution on that to medium. And what we want to do is we want to have this uh, floor continue to be supported by the structural walls. So we want to be able to take this line and kind of jog it back behind the drywall on that new wall we put in. So we're going to take this line, jog it around that corner, and bring it along that uh, drywall line uh, between, um, you know, just on the edge of the uh, core face is where that's going to be. So let's go to boundary line. Click on that on our modify tab. Go to line. Let's see if we can pick up some geometry in here. We can pick up that, so we're going to bring that over. And escape once. We may not be able to pick up uh, the intersection here, but we can pick up the line down here. So we're going to go ahead and pick that up, and we'll just go in here and we'll trim all that stuff out later. So escape once allows us to uh, come back to that uh, command, and now we can terminate that. So the next step over here is I'm going to go ahead and uh, split this. I'm going to go to the split. Uh, element button up here. I'm going to take this line and split it in them two. So this line I can trim down here and go around the corner up here, and then the rest of that line I'm going to trim when I get up to the top. So trim, extend the corner. Click on these two elements. Click on these two elements. Scoot up to the top up here. Do the same thing on the top. This way, I don't have to come in later and try to put in the line in here. So now we're going to have that uh, floor actually be supported by the structure, but terminate right at the finish face. Now if I go to the green check mark, we're going to do the, the same questions as before. Would you like the walls to go up at that floor level to, you know, to attach to its bottom? Yes, we want to do that. But typically, typically, we'll go up to the next level. And then yes, we want the walls to be cut out so that the, or the floors to be cut out so that the floors can be supported by the walls. So they could be supported by the structural walls. And we're going to go to yes to that one. One curious thing about that is that floor didn't look like it really cut out. So if we go back to our 3D view and take a look at that, here's our floor in here. And it uh, looks like it really didn't do anything, but curious enough, and I'm not certain why it did it, is it actually created two floors. One's this little bitty sliver of a floor between uh, you know the two, uh, two walls that are there. And I believe if we just click on that floor and deleted it, it gets rid of that. But it also uh, maintains the floor that's in the background. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and click on this wall. And let's hide that like we did uh, the roof. We're going to hide that element. And we can see that the, the floor 
the second floor back there is still there, but that little teeny weeny little uh, pony floor is now gone and we got rid of that. So how do you get these back? If you go to the view control bar down here, there's a button down here called reveal hidden elements. If you click it, now what it does is it turns uh, the, the edge of the screen red and uh, it allows us to take anything, any item that might be outlined in red, which are the items that have been hidden, and we can right click on that and go back to unhide in view. So we're going to unhide that element in a very similar manner that we did to hide it. And it takes it out of this view and puts it into our regular view. So what I want to do, I want to be able to select that wall. So this is, since this is enclosed and kind of hidden, I'm going to go into my first floor view. I'm going to put a camera view in there so I can take a look at that. And that's a, kind of a handy thing to do if you can put that camera view in there. So you can see what you're doing. I use camera views, sections, as well as a 3D views to be able to see things. It gives you an opportunity to see what's going on inside your model so that uh, whatever you're modeling, you can see with the intent. Uh, or make, make sure that you're maintaining that intent as you're going through modeling. So, one curious thing about this is it kind of shows the 3D elements that are behind that wall, but as you, you approach the wall, those elements begin to disappear. Kind of funny the way that works. But if you get close enough, you can see that the wall is fairly continuous. Third floor is still sticking out, so what we did in the, uh, the second floor, you'll need to do on the third floor. So let's go and uh, click on that wall, uh, or we want to make sure that we get that wall back. So uh, since we hid that, we're going to go to Reveal Hidden Elements, and uh, you know, it looks like the wall came back. So we may have uh, already um, uh, selected that wall uh, when we selected the roof, but if you didn't, and it uh, wasn't visible here, you can go ahead and uh, find it here and uh, reveal it, right-click on it until it done hide. So it looks like we're done here. Uh, again, uh, the wall looks like it's in place, so um, yeah, we're going to move on to the next step. What we'd like to do on this wall now, if we select that wall, is we want to make a cut in it. We could probably start that in our uh, camera view here, but um, if you go to the modify wall tabs, it's not going to let us do that here, so we're going to have to go and do uh, what, our, what would be perceived our, our section view. So we're going to go to the side room west. Go inside of that, we're going to reselect that wall. If the wall is difficult to uh, select, you can select a number of different elements by using the, you know, the control uh, or the pick box window from the right to the left. It selects a lot of things here. But what you want to do is go up here to the filter. And we're going to go to check none, or we can just uh, select walls. And it tells us it's going to select uh, three elements in here, three walls. We'll see if we can actually select that one wall. So if you use a tab key, it's another way of doing it. We don't want to select all three walls, but if you go to a corner down here, if you use a tab key, it allows you to select a number of different elements. And there it is. You can see walls, basic wall, interior, four and a half inch. You can see it on the cursor. That gives us a better opportunity to select that wall. All right, back data profile. Let's go ahead and put in uh, some uh, additional elements in here. And you can sketch these out if you like. So I'm going to start with maybe uh, an 8-foot uh, wall up there. I'm going to go to the 3D sketch, or a uh, three-point arc. We'll identify our first point. Second point probably uh, maybe over there, and then the third point is going to be in the middle of the arc. And we could also uh, define this a little bit better with dimensions later, but I'm going to go ahead and make that cut. And maybe that's something we want to do. And if we want to take this and maybe move it a little bit higher so it includes the second floor on that, we could do that too. Make kind of a tripping hazard. So if you're looking going from the second floor to the, you know, to this room, um, you know, might be kind of might want to correct that perhaps with the railing up there. But we'll save that for another film. But once we do this, and with uh, dimensions, we can uh, take some of these corners. I notice that that corner up here is a little bit higher than the other one. But for the sake of demonstration, we're going to go ahead and finish this up because it's kind of a long video. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and trim this. So I'm going to make uh, two elements out of that line and go to the trim, extend corner, click on those two elements, these two elements, it trims that out pretty good if I go to the green check mark. Now we have uh, quite a bit of a cut out there, a nice access to that room. Now let's go down here to our 3D view or a new camera view that we put in and see how that looks. Not too bad, so railings across the first, uh, the second floor, open in the first floor, it's continuous coming in. I think I, uh, that does a pretty good job. 
So thank you for joining me. We will see you in other films.